Hi class, we are getting ready to paint our Monet picture. We've already prepared by doing the outline and the shapes and finding out what colors we need. I have just a regular 9 by 12 canvas. Um, we have some paint brushes. We're going to use a paper plate to put our paints on and these are just regular acrylics. And our first step will be to put our shapes onto our canvas so that we know where to place our paint when we start. Now that I have my paints ready, which are all of the colors that I listed on my exercise here, um, I can start painting the background. I'm going to paint my blues in the sky. I'm going to use my larger brush. Um, just going to use a little bit of this blue and start going for it. And I got a little bit of paint on the canvas when I was opening the jar. But with impressionist painting, we're going to be okay with just short brush strokes and quick and not worry about being perfect because we can paint over. These are acrylics, it's very easy to just paint over. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my canvas. I started with my darkest color and the most background part of the painting. I'm going to do the ladies dress now with this little bit lighter blue and I'm not even going to rinse my brush because it's okay if the paints mix a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and I can see in the painting that the strokes kind of go up and down a little bit more. So I'm going to try to copy that on mine. I painted in all my shapes and I even went and did my boy because he was about the same colors. And as you can notice, I'm not worried about the details. I'm not worried about being perfect. I'm just getting the color onto the canvas. So now I'm going to go ahead and start to do the grass. And I will rinse my brush just a little bit for that. Make sure it's dry because this paint is very, very um, thin already. So I don't need any extra water in there. Go ahead and spread it all over, even where that shadow is, because that shadow is going to get covered. I'm going to want a little bit of green showing through on that, too. Okay, so now I have all of my colors filled in where I wanted them. Um, on the camera, this does not look white, but it is. Um, so now I'm going to just try to get my background. Um, all the whites and do the short brush strokes and do the blending and make my clouds back here. So let's see how this works. I'm just going to so this is right next to the lady kind of makes the outline for her. And the reason we do the background first is because when you go to paint the subject, in my case the lady, then I can paint right over the background if I need to, if I've gone over the lines, so to speak. So I'm going to keep working on my background here. And I have a gray color that I'm going to use too. That doesn't look gray in the camera, but it is. And um, that color I'll help to get these spots. I'm working on the sky background right now and I'm mixing my colors a little bit, the blues and the whites, to get a little bit more subtle color, not so dark and solid, and just kind of working my brush back and forth, back and forth, having fun with it, not being perfect, because that's what it's all about, It's just kind of making it up as you go. and putting it where you want. You can look at the painting. I can see some clouds here, so maybe I'll put some more white 
make it a little bit more solid there. But if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter because this is my painting. I'm just kind of having fun trying to copy. Make it a little bit darker up there. And my umbrella, I can start to make the shape of the umbrella. So I'm just going to take my brush and go whoop, whoop, to make those little shapes there. Just patting my brush a little bit just to give it more of that impressionist feel instead of having brush strokes. So our painters like Monet, they just kind of did dabs, not really strokes. Just doing some finishing touches on this background. I did add the gray color here and I don't really like it too much so that's okay because I can just kind of dab around and kind of blend it in so it doesn't stick out so much like it does. Just kind of dab my brush. And acrylic paint dries pretty quickly, so I will go back with white in just a minute. I think I have my background done pretty well and I am going to start working on the lady and I'll do those details because I'm using the blue colors and she's in blue so I'll just keep using those colors for now. So I'm just trying to get the way that her dress lays um, with my brush strokes and I did switch to my smaller brush and get this off-white color, tan color to um, show the impression of light. So this is what I'm working on now. Okay, I'm getting the basic lights and darks in her dress if you want to see. And now I'm just kind of dabbing my paintbrush to kind of blend it a little bit more so it's not so um, it doesn't stand out so much, so it gives more of the impression of what the painting is. Alright, so now I have finished blending my blues and my lights and my darks to get the, the effect of the dress. 
and I did the face and I didn't forget this little boy over here. Now I need to do something about this green and the umbrella. And it's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to keep blending and using short strokes. And then in my picture I can see that there's yellows and there's this shadow here where I'm going to use a blue color and um, and then accents with a little bit of brownish red here too. So I'm pretty much finished with blending my colors and getting it to look like the picture I'm copying. And you can see that it's not perfect, it's not exactly the same that the picture is, and um, but I'm pretty happy with it. I am noticing that she has some white highlights to show the light in her dress, so I think I might just add those to her dress and then I think I'm going to say that I'm all done. So there we have it. I am all finished and when you are copying your impressionist painting, first you're going to do your background colors and just get the color on the canvas and then you can mix. You can see I mixed quite a bit on my plate and just kind of blend it together and dab in short strokes and get those colors on. Hope you have fun.